Uh, right, so before I go and nail this, um, a post came out last night, a picture of me years ago, training overseas, um, smashing my fitness. I, I always have, I always have smashed my fitness. I always will smash my fitness. It's just what I do. Um, and I think a lot of it comes back to when I was a teenager, I was 15, 14, 15, and you know, I was quite short, quite tubby, you know, quite round. <laughs> um, and I was not happy in myself. So I was like, I'm gonna do something about it, you know? So in high school, I found the gym, started smashing the gym, went to, um, went to college and stepped it up from there. Uh, started in a college gym, then I went over to a gym, which sadly isn't open anymore, a gym called Body 2000. So all the guys from Exeter know Body 2000, know what Body 2000 was, walking it. Um, and that was an awesome gym, yeah, awesome, awesome family there, loads of people all into their training, and it was about training, yeah, of loads of different disciplines. So that was back in, two, that was, Christ, that was a long, long time ago. Jesus, yeah, so I, I joined that gym like back in 2000, um, and started training there, and I stayed there right up to when it closed every year. But from using that gym and using all the people that were there, all the different knowledge was there, I trained in a whole bunch of different ways, been obviously all the different resistance training, all the bodybuilding I did, um, preparation for military, um, going into the paras, etc., etc. So my, my training changed a lot, and I took a lot of information from others, and lots of others inspired me. And that's kind of why 22 Smoking Aces is the way it is, because that's where it got formed, really, um, back in the day, um, with like-minded people working together, supporting each other. Knowing what, the, knowing what the sketch was, knowing what they wanted to do, what they wanted to achieve. And like, since then, you know, there's loads of guys that I've, that I've helped along the way. Big Tom Morgan. Big Tom Morgan. Uh, I've known Tom since, since day dot. Known him when he was doing all his um, MMA days. Known him when he was doing all his prep for his shows. And I've done a whole number of times where I've given Tom different advice because it started out many, many years ago. I also was prep myself, was helping prep my brother. I gave him guys advice just helping different guys. And I remember Tom absolutely hanging out ages ago. I was like, Tom, when's the last time you actually had some tr time off training, dude? <laughs> um, I was like, right, take some time off training. Um, so he did, and it fucking it helped him massively. So I think Tom probably remember that. But Tom, you know, he's credit to himself. He is a big guy and he is a beast and he knows how to kick his ass. And he knows how to train fucking hard. Um, and, you know, and he's a fit fireman. And, you know, even before he went into that, you know, he was all over his fitness for whatever discipline he was in. You know, he was a beast when he was doing all his MMA fighting. You know, he's a big six foot four, you know, running at about 17, 18 stone, I think. Um, and, you know, he's a big guy and he's fucking broad. And he's, just, he's, he's a unit. And when he gets ripped, he's ripped. So it's fucking fair play to him. Um, but yeah, Tom, you know, shared, all his, shared his training with guys, inspires guys. So that's cool, and he's, that's why he's got him, got him on the team, because he's beast. Um, and that's the same for loads of different guys that's in Exeter. You've got Tommy from Tommy as well. We've got Naughty Tactics. We've got a whole bunch of different different people. Will Maverick. Um, and everyone just shares knowledge. But going all the way back, and where it all kind of started from, with myself. Obviously, I started training back then, smashing myself before I went to the Paris. Um, the, when I decided to go to Paris, I had made a choice of, I was going into the core, um, going back to the RMR, um, but the last second, a close buddy was like, why don't you check out the Paris? So I did. Um, I'd already passed all my PRMC, I've got flying colors. Staff down there was like, yeah, hey, let's get you getting in core. You know, it'd be great to have you back in here. You know, because I'd already kind of stepped away slightly from the RMR, um, had a bit of break when I was at uni doing all the sports. So I was going back. Um, but I decided, what should I do, what should I do? Um, I was actually reading a book at the time, reading a book about the core, reading a cook, uh, book about a platoon that was going through uh, training for the Lipson. And I was like, yeah, man, that's what I want to do. I want to be a badass Marine. So that, that's what I was going to do until I saw my good buddy, Steve. Sadly, he's not around anymore. Um, and, you know, he said, like, check out the powers. So I went on Insight course for the powers. Um, I absolutely loved what I saw. Built a bunch of crazy ass rogue renegade cowboys. <laughs> and I was like, yep, yeah, that's me. 
<laughs> so the, the staff were great. We went up to Aldershot back in the day, um, did an inside course. I was fit as you like, because I'd been kicking my ass, getting myself prepped for going into the Marines, because I passed, obviously passed my PRMC with flying colours. Um, <coughs> so yeah, you know, for the lads, also, if you're going into the military, you know, it's not just your fitness. Think about what's going on in your noodle as well. So, especially, you know, going in the Marines and everything else, you've actually got to have good mental um, stability and good mental uh, awareness. And you're just, you, you just can't be dumb. <laughs> you've just got to actually be able to do maths and English and actually to put, like, sentences together. I know some people are actually find that hard these days. <laughs> As I've seen with a lot of texts that I get and emails. Um, so, yeah, bear that in mind. You know, if you're going into the military, you're training your mind as well as your body. But going back to me, um, God, back in the day, so obviously I had to make a choice, went and smashed my, uh, my uh, inside course and then smashed all the entry tests for going into Paris and obviously I had to go back and tell a, uh, <laughs> tell a colour sergeant, this marine colour sergeant, who proceeded to scream at me and have a massive go at me in his office in the career centre, <laughs> which is quite comical. And I was like, I'm sorry sir, but this, this, is, this is my career, this is me starting out, I'm 23. I want to get into the military, I've decided I'm just not going to go to the core, I want to go a different route, you know, I want to go to different places, try new things, um, be airborne, airborne, um, airborne needs way. So that's what I did. He didn't really like it, but <laughs> it was what my path started on, so that was, you know, way back in, Christ, that was a long, long time ago, that was 2001, yeah. Um, so I kicked my ass all the way up from the January time when I was about 16 stone. I couldn't even run 100 meters. By August time, I'd gone from 16 stone down to 12 stone, yeah, and I was ripped. I was shredded. And no, it wasn't because I took loads of other stuff that training certain training supplements. It's because I had applied myself and I was doing hard ass fucking training and cardio every day, and. I'd beast myself. I mean, I turned up in depot and it, the depot staff were like, man, can you give us training tips? <laughs> can you give us some training programs? And I was like, lads, are you, are you serious? Are you taking a piss? Uh, they were like, no, mate, serious. Because I was older, you know, I was like 23, coming up to 24. Um, yeah, okay, that's still young, but I'd been training for years with all these really switched on guys. Um, so I knew all about my training, knew how to kick my ass and knew how to be a beast. And yeah, I was. I was like, I was 12 stone ripped. I got a photo of me, I was shredded, um, and I was mega, mega fit. So, hit depot, um, smashed away through depot, and then obviously got over to the reg and been going strong ever since. And uh, everyone that knows me from my time in the Paris or being in courses or then moving on to different places, everyone knows me and say, yeah, yeah, he, he trains like a machine. <laughs> he trains like a machine wherever he goes no matter what and just smashes it be it with my training with my fitness with my nutrition and i'm all over my carbs all over my protein know when to eat what not to eat i've been prepping my own food for years and years and years i was in the army and i just wasn't happy about what the way the food was in the cookhouse so i was like i'm not eating it anymore i will eat it if i need to but other than that i am prepping my own food and i'm gonna do graze feeding throughout the days um, for me, I'm, I've naturally got a really slow metabolism, um, so me eating just a couple of meals a day is no good for me. It's just like me being a lion, eating loads and then just putting loads of weight on. It's just, it's just, it's no good for me. So, 